200cc. It's the fastest Mario Kart has ever been, but it's also Mario Kart at its most difficult, so I'm here to give you guys some tips on how to get better at 200cc. These tips can also apply to the Wii U version. First, let's talk about vehicle combos. For learning 200cc, I highly recommend using a combination with high acceleration and high handling. A medium weight character like Mario, combined with the roller tires, can get this combination. If you want to play it even more safe, use an even lighter character than Mario. As you gain more experience with 200cc, you can ease off on the acceleration and handling, and perhaps focus more on some higher speed and heavier combos. Also, don't be afraid to use smart steering when first learning 200cc. Smart steering does a great job of keeping people on the track on 200cc. However, smart steering will prevent you from getting ultra made turbos, and it will also prevent you from doing certain shortcuts. So think of smart steering as training wheels on a bicycle, you gotta take them off eventually. Now 200cc is all about managing your speed. You want to go as fast as possible, but at the same time, you don't want to go too fast. The most obvious method of managing your speed is using the brakes. While doing a drift, be sure to press the brake button every so often so that way you can keep the tight lines and also slow yourself down. Now not every turn will require braking, but definitely use brakes on sharper turns. Don't hold the brake button for too long, otherwise you'll cancel your drift. I should note that you can actually brake drift for much longer in Deluxe compared to the Wii U version. As you gain more experience with 200cc, you won't need to hit the brake button as much. A less obvious way of slowing down is letting go of the A button. If you let go of the A button during a drift, you can cancel the drift and the mini turbo. This is useful in emergency situations. So if you think you're about to go too fast around a turn, let go of the A button and hit your brakes. Now a lot of inexperienced 200cc players mess up whenever they get a speed boost from a boost pad, a mushroom, or a bullet bill, so let me show you how to handle that extra speed. For some boost ramps on 200cc, it's actually a better idea to drift off them instead of trick on them. Mini turbos do charge while you're airborne, so it's a very useful strat. I should note that brake drifting while airborne actually does slow you down. For mushroom boosts, hopping can help you align yourself with the road, even while on turns. Here's an example on Animal Crossing. The turn is very sharp, so I do a few hops before I use the mushroom boost, so that way I'm aligned with the finish line. If you combine letting go of the A button with hopping, then you can make turns much more easily while mushroom boosting. You can apply this to using stars as well. Thanks to the maximum acceleration you get from the stars, it's actually faster to hop around turns rather than drift around them while invincible. Unfortunately, inward drifting bikes cannot hop to turn like this. For bullet bills on 200cc, I recommend using them in areas where people have to slow down. You can autopilot through those difficult areas without having to slow down. When the bullet bill ends, hold down the drift button and the brake button, and the bullet bill will drop you off into a brake drift. You can notice when the bullet bill is about to end when you see it slow down slightly. This is very useful for when a bullet bill is about to drop you off on a tight turn. And one other way to get better at 200cc, or Mario Kart in general, is watch other people play the game. You can pick up a lot of driving strategies and item strategies from other people when you watch them. Now one last thing related to 200cc that I'll talk about is how to find 200cc lobbies online. It is possible to get 200cc races in standard worldwide matches, however these do not appear consistently. A 200cc community member named Delta Z created the 200cc World Cup tournament so that way people could play in this tournament and get consistent 200cc matches without having to grind for VR or deal with the lower engine classes. The tournament is open almost 24-7, and a couple thousand people join each week, so it's very likely that you'll find a lobby in here. Be sure to share the tournament with anyone that you know that loves 200cc. So that's all I have to say about Mario Kart 8 Deluxe 200cc. If you know anybody that's struggling with 200cc, feel free to share the video with them. I did make Mario Kart 8 Wii U 200cc track guides, and the strategies in those videos still apply to the Deluxe version, so I'll have a link to those in the outro. Thank you all so much for watching, and once again, share the video with anybody you know that's struggling with 200cc. See you all next time.